Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer money from BitGit to MetaMask in 2024. So first, we are going to explore the process of transferring funds from BitGit, which is a popular cryptocurrency exchange to MetaMask, which is a digital wallet widely used for managing Ethereum uh, and ERCUs of course 20 tokens. So whether you're looking to secure your assets or engage in decentralized finance, uh, DeFi activities join me in this guide so so we can get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and access your metamask wallet to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser this could possibly have if you don't have a metamask wallet already of course, you can simply check here uh, the extensions that you have. As you can see for me, I have a MetaMask here. Let me see if I'm logged in into an account or not. I don't remember if I'm, I am. So the password, let's see if I just enter a password that I remember in here. So let me just go and try that password again. Okay, let me just remove this, add this and this. So yeah, it seems like they logged me into my account. Got it. So as you can see, I have a MetaMask account here already to use for me. For you, if you don't have it, simply go to this URL section here on your browser. Basically, just go and type extensions, hit the enter button. You'll find yourself here. Make sure to click on this first link, which is from Chrome Web Store. Here, look for MetaMask and simply go and install this extension. Once you click on install, of course, as you can see for me, it's already installed. So it's basically like this. You'll find it add to Brave or add to whatever browser you have. Just go and install it out. Once it's installed, you'll find it right here. Just go and pin it out so you can have easy access to it. And you can simply go and create your account. They'll give you a word, 12 words, I guess. That's something that you got to keep and you got to save somewhere safe. Of course, and you'll create an account with a password and etc. So you'll have to go through those steps. Once you do so, you will have your uh, MetaMask account ready to use. Now you'll have to go again to the CRL section and simply access your bitsgit. Sorry, so bitsgit.com and hit the enter button. And this should take you into their home screen or main screen right away. If it's your first time, you will not find yourself in here. You'll find yourself on a page like this instead. As you can see, it's the same page, but here you'll find the login and sign up option. So if you have an account, click on login to login into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on sign up. And you can log in or sign up using Google, Apple, Telegram, or even MetaMask or BitGit Wallet if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of create or even login into your account. Of course, if you create your account using your MetaMask wallet, you will not have to do a lot of some a lot of steps. But if you already like created your account before and you just created your MetaMask account, just follow this steps tutorial and it will be pretty easy. So as an example here, once I will go to my account, first of all, you'll not be able to do anything with BitGit if you don't have like your uh your account verified so as you can see i'm in verified now if i go and click on here as you can see i'll not be able to deposit any crypto or fiat deposits or even the p2p trading of course i'll be able to withdraw money so basically spe specifically for this tutorial you'll be able to go without uh, activating or verifying your id and verifying your account basically you can go and do this uh, tutorial without it but it is actually very, very important to verify your accounts, as you can see, so you can have all those features in here. And it will not take a lot of time. You'll just have to upload your ID or driver license or passport or residential ID, whatever it is, depending on the country that you're living in. And you'll need to do a face recognition, verification, a picture, or a small video call, which will not last even a minute. And of course, you'll have to wait 60 minutes until they verify or review your request. Then you'll be verified as simple as that. Make sure to even like have some security over your account in case your passwords got leaks or something like that. Make sure to have this Google indicator. That means your assets will never leave your account unless they have the code that they will that you will receive through this. So not nothing will be allowed if they think they don't get the code in here so it's recommended as you can see to uh, configure it and add it to your account so your account is secure 
Now, what you'll need to do, of course, is simply uh, withdraw the funds from BidGit uh, or BidGit uh, Bidget. So you can simply go here to your uh, wallet at the top right corner. Just simply go and click on that. And in here, you'll find all the funds that you have in your account. So if you have some already, you'll be able to withdraw it right away. But if you don't, of course, you can simply go and deposit some uh, first. You can deposit from your bank account using the P2P trading if you want. Uh, or you can use it simply through your debit or credit card right away. But this will uh, require some fees, as you can see, not like this P2P. Uh, but of course, as you can see, those features will require verification of your account. So let's just go to our wallet back and let's pretend that we already have some assets in here. So what we'll need to do to withdraw or to transfer the money from BitGit to MetaMask. Simply, we can, uh, of course, first of all, go to spot and transfer like an exact assets right away from here. Or if we are here on the overview assets, if you go and click on withdraw right away, here we can simply go and select the coin that we want to withdraw. As an example, let's say that I want to transfer, uh, I don't know, I want to transfer USDT to uh, my MetaMask account. So I'll have, first of all, to choose the network that I will send in. As you can see, there are TRX, Ethereum, BSC. Uh, normally, a lot of people use this Binance Smart Chain while uh, network because it's uh, the most one that has the less fees, as you can see. It has least fees, so it's 0 points like 3 USDT, not like this one. It will require one USDT, so it's better to use this one. Of course, you can use other options if you want to. And as you can see, you can simply choose the network in here. And here, what you'll have to do is simply with, uh, enter or paste the withdrawal address. Where you will get that from? Go back to your MetaMask account. And in here, of course, let me just go back. What you will need to do, as you can see now, I am where I am. I am, first of all, on the Ethereum-like network simply we'll have to go and add another network which is the binance smart chain as you can see make sure to go and add this click on add and click on approve and as you can see i'll just click on switch to switch to binance smart chain of course i can always quit that and i'll find it now right from here simply just go and click on that metamask i'll find this click on got it as you can see i'll find it here and here what i'll need to do is simply i'll have to click on receive as you can see they will give us simply this address which we will need to receive our usdt of course make sure as you can see for me the only token that i have in here is just bnb i don't have any usdt so i'll have to click here on imports like a usd uh, or now i'll need of course the, uh, the token contracts address where i'll get that simply i'll just type here usdt token can contract address and as you can see, you'll get it in here. You can even check it. But so of course, let me just go and do that. So, of course, uh, BSC network. And yeah, so we can simply go and get this from here. Or we can, yeah, I don't know. No, it's this, this is not the one for USDT. I'll simply have to look for USDT. And it should be thither which is known worldwide, or we can simply use, or we can simply get, just go back, USDT, I'll just type that, and click on here, to get like, okay, not this one, I need like, yeah, the coin market cap, that's what I need, and here, of course, I'll need to get the address of it, as you can see, but not, not in like Ethereum, I will need to get it on the Binance Smart Chain, so I'll need to change it to Binance Smart Chain. I forgot how exactly, but of course you can always like stay with the Ethereum. So you can go back as an example to Ethereum if you want to. And you can, import, as you can see, there's no USDT in here. So you have to import tokens and you will have to copy that. Go back here to your MetaMask and simply just paste that address right there. And you'll be able, as an example, import tokens, search tokens. As you can see, you'll find it's right there. Click on next, import, and you'll be able to import it. Of course, the same will be for Binance Smart Chain, but you will need to find out like the the contracts address of it. You will should normally find it like the you'll be able to change it somewhere. I forgot how exactly, but 
I, I forgot how, so let's just work with the Ethereum manet. So if you want to work with the Ethereum manet, of course, we'll have to change like, so first of all, we'll have to go and go in here and we would like to get it. So we'll not need to send, we'll need to receive, of course. I'll just go here and click on receive. And as you can see, they will give me like this. I'll need to go back here, make sure to choose the Ethereum instead of, but as you can see, the Ethereum, it has a lot of transaction fees. That's why I told you you'll need this one. So just simply for you, just uh, choose the Ethereum, enter the address that they sent you in here, that they give you in here. So receive, click on that, do this, click on next. And you'll have then to enter, of course, of course, you'll need uh, to secure your account with the code. So do everything. And you'll have to enter the amount. You'll have to wait a bit, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes until you receive it here. Once you find it here, you will be good to go. Of course, let me just go and check for the last time if I can get like uh, the Thither USDT. Like BSC contract. So contracts on coin market cap just go and check if i can get that so oh yeah, yeah. I, I i totally forgot you basically have to go here to more and as you can see you'll find binance smart chain so we'll have to copy that go back now in here and yeah we'll have to change to binance smart chain import tokens enter that in here it's USDT, click on next, click on import, and as you can see, you'll find this right there, right there. So now you can click on receive, copy that, go back in here, go with Binance Smart Chain, enter that in here, click on next, and click on confirm. Of course, you will have to add the Google Authenticator. Once you add it, enter the amount, and you'll have to wait a bit, five minutes to 10 minutes, because Binance Smart Chain does not take a lot of time and does not take a lot of fees. You'll find your USDT right here and you'll be good to go. So that's going to be it for me in this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.